Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to the Permission 2. Last time, we bought an alligator. We tried a bowl. Old lady said no. So we're gonna put alligator in front of her house so she can't bowl. I don't get it either. Anyway, we're gonna do a side quest to start off anyway. Verily, much shall serve thee well here. Charms can help you in various ways. Necklaces boost bullet effects, boost physical abilities, boost skateboard abilities, boost your performance in mini games. You can enhance these at charms that prey to pick your charge the most. Spend your altar, create materials and money. Okay, so I I can either buy a beck a beckless? Or a doll? <laughs> and I have to get the... Ooh. So I have to find the stuff to make it. That's interesting. Oh. What can thou have? I can't... Do anything about that now. Whoa, that was close. Ah, uh. well, look at you all standing there like you're expecting me to apologize. Huh, it's your fault for not paying attention. You sound like a problem. What got a moment? Can't say I do. I'm in a hurry here. I won't take up too much of your time. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. I said I'm in a hurry, Pickerwood. Now get out of my way. Patty, who was that? Kalina Clarkson. PJ Clarkson's second daughter, and Lisa's mother. Ooh. Zach, we've found ourselves a Clarkson. No! <laughs> She's not here. My dolly. She's not here. My dolly isn't here. One of the key persons in this case just came out of the woodwork to meet us. Now things are really getting interesting. Isn't that right, Zach? Actually, yes. My dolly's missed my sweet little dolly. So I have three quests now? Well, I can't really do any of those at the moment, so let's go ahead and leave. She's too focused on her dolly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Good, because I have no idea what I'm thinking. So, it is currently 9.33. And... We can't do anything. Until. <laughs> we put the alligator in front of her house at. So what the plan is. I'm going to go rest. Open her button. By the way there's a, there's a house thing there. We hit Y. So we're going to go the. We can't really do anything for a while. Yeah, I could do side stuff, but we're gonna wait on side stuff for a while, I feel like. But for now, we're gonna go run. By run, I mean skateboard. And go to Casa Pineapple. Cause I feel like that's the point. Cause I know we're gonna. Need, oh gosh, the longest loading screen. Why, why was the last loading screen so? Okay, this one isn't bad either. Oh, uh, this is my room, I think. That's my room. Okay. I do have the music to my room. It's pretty chill. King size, 
made in France. It looked Zach, even though the bureau was paying for this, it's still tired. Nothing beats getting a good night's sleep. Also, I can just do this. Okay, so we're gonna do four. So we're gonna sleep forever. Because we need to between was it twenty three and I'm hungry. Oh no. Ooh, that comes out of my money, money. Yeah, that's a pretty big chunk. Need to keep that in mind. What if the kitchen's closed? I hope not, because that would make my life a little hard. Go ahead, this is he gonna show up randomly? We always strive our humble bucolic town. Therefore, we decided to provide great exact. Uh... Makes it easier to tan. Serving you is pleased. Let me go find the kitchen. I'll be right back. Button. The real deal, which ain't too easy to find in a backwoods town like this. Did I hear wrong then? Set me straight, would you, chef? I thought that Cajun food was the norm in Acadiana. Why would you go out of your way to serve Creole food here? When I was a young, I trained myself at a famous restaurant in New Orleans. No. A famous restaurant? That's incredible. Was it Arnaud's? Antoine's? No, don't tell me I got it. Brennan's, right? None of those, actually. But that place taught me how to really cook. Go on and try something, you'll see. Okay. Very intriguing. Well, I don't need all of these. I just need... Well... I do need that. That food was unbelievable. Ah, now you just trying to embarrass me, mister. And you must have undergone some rigorous training. You put so much care and your manipulation of that low temp. This is true. You have to tell me now. Which? <laughs> Come on, chef. We need to know. Ah, you drive a hard bargain, mister. All right. I reckon I can give you a hint. Really? Oh, just a hint now. Fine. We'll take it. Just say it. It's the restaurant that serves the most famous fried chicken in all of Louisiana. Crispy, crunchy. You know what I'm talking about? Bonafide fried chicken. It's like Popeyes. No, you can't mean... Oh, yeah. I'll bet they worked you pretty hard. Mm-hmm, you betcha. So that's how you acquired the mental fortitude necessary to cook such amazing <laughs> food. Oh, my time there taught me just how tough city life really is. Amazing. Zach, did you hear all that? That's an incredible story, David. You really are a true chef. Both Zach and I have given you our official approval. I can give nothing. Hey, I got 10 bucks for spending 25 on health. All right. I'll tell you, tap it, it's like the right amount. All right, it is nighttime. And if this game is like the first game, nighttime's going to be a bad time. So I'm very curious to see how they're going to pull off the nighttime shenanigans. Other world. Between midnight and 16, the other town of Picard is in the other world. Yes! Nope. <laughs> Nope, we have random people with clock tower Caesars. I'm gonna pass the deal on dealing with you all. I'm just, uh. Just 
just casually skate on by. Wow. This game is simultaneously bigger yet smaller than the first game. I know the first game was really rough to navigate because how massive it was and there's like one or two passages through everything. But I just ramped up something. I just ramped up. What the heck about ramping up? Sidewalk? Mr. Alligator, not sure how much help you'll be in this situation, but I guess you're better than nothing. Uh. What, what the? Zack, I don't even need to say it, do I? This is right out of that movie. It Videodrome, is? Videodrome, 1982, directed by David Cronenberg. At the time, it was seen as a hard movie to digest for normal moviegoers, but... Now, it's become a cult classic. I always just saw it as another weird Canadian movie, but this changes everything. My arm and my gun have become one. Now I can really understand what Max was going through. Psycho gun. Hold the fire button down to charge your psycho gun. Aim it towards the enemy to lock on and release for a fire. The faster you're firing, the faster you're going to lock on. Okay, this isn't bad. And I get items? Oh, first, all right, first of all, let's go ahead and place this. Yes. Perfect. Oh, my dear lost lamb. What are you doing there? Oh, this? This is all part of the Lease Clarkson murder investigation. It is? Something important, hmm? Oh, yes. Very important. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. But what should I call you? I am Tyrone Sanders, pastor of the Lucare Evangelical Church. Aha. Uh -huh. And what business does a pastor like yourself have in a place like this? Well, I live over across the way there. Do you have an intimate relationship with Mrs. Carpenter? Why? Well, why in the world would you suggest such a pitiful thing? Lordy, lordy. How could I ever become intimate with one who is so devoid of faith? After she lost her husband, she stopped coming to church. All she does all day is bold. She even pruned a shrubbery in that pitiful fashion. No, uh, I didn't notice that. Truly pitiful. Mm, mm, mm. And did you see that hideous ox of a dog she owns? Pitiful with a capital P. I tried speaking with her, but she shows no intention of changing her ways. Yes, I fear she never lends an ear when the good Lord reaches out to her. Indeed, I pity her from the bottom of my heart. So you've been spying on her out of pity? Spying? I'm merely awaiting the chance to lend her a helping hand. You best be careful, too. This town harbors much more danger than you're aware of. If you ever find yourself in need of salvation, feel free to stop by our church whenever you like. Our church also functions as a clinic. Someday, you may need our help. Zack, did you hear that? Pitiful. Try saying that to someone in the city. They'd yeah. instantly slap you with slander or defamation charges. You'd be up to your neck in court papers. I doubt I'll tire of this town anytime soon. We should consider stopping by that church whenever we get a chance. Mm. 
I wonder when that opens. Alright, I can get Lucario and Vangelis. Oh, freak, I forgot about you all. Alright, I'm gonna uh, go do, take care of these guys and head meet you guys back at the uh, diner. Alright, so I done goof. I had cigarettes, I used the last two, the last one to move the clock to what I thought was enough time. It's for rewarding, it wasn't, so I need to figure out, wait, is that root beer? No, root beer is uncaffeinated, 90% of the time. Okay, I don't think I've seen caffeinated root beer ever. Very good, sir. Please. Let's see, do you have what I'm needing? Please don't. Would you mind if I ask? By all means. Oh. Please ask me whatever you like, sir. Do you run this entire hotel all on your own? I mean, just the three of you? Yes, that is correct, sir. So you, or the three of you, own the entire place? Oh, heavens no, sir. The chef, the bellboy, and myself are all mere employees of this fine hotel. So the Clarksons own this place, too? <laughs> Not quite, sir. This hotel opened its doors long before the Clarksons came to prominence. Impressive. No wonder this building has such a dignified air to it. Indeed. This is probably the only building in all of Lucare that has managed to retain its original appearance. So, who's the owner? I simply must know the name of the person who had the fortune and sense to come into possession of such a fine building. <clears throat> The owner of this hotel is none other than David Jawara, sir. Wait, what? Zack, that's the fourth David. It all makes sense now. It'd be stranger if only the owner was a completely different person. I sincerely hope I get a chance to meet him during my stay here. If I may, Mr. Morgan, sir, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Unfortunately, our owner has a bit of a personality problem. No. The three of us here describe him as having a fractured mind. Eh. <laughs> oh, this game, I swear. Actually, you know what? Before what before we go to the Alexis, let's go ahead and call it here. I know it's like 20 or 15, 16 minutes. Next time on Dope Premonition 2, we will tackle on toppling 10 maidens. I'll see you then.